Well, that's awesome. Awesome. Okay. Well, you might want to put another chair over there and create one more line. Like where you see where the Madung is, if you have a line, like a rope from there to there. Yeah, sit there. No, no one can sit. From about this side on where I'm standing, it's got to be the right of me on this side. Sit over there. Okay. All right, so please, everybody, this is a thankless task. <laughs> I'm begging all my God brothers, God sisters, God nieces, God nephews, God help me, please, <laughs> for both of us. All we're trying to do by the order of Sri Padmada Maharaj is create some order and system by which everyone gets an opportunity for Darshan. Thank you very, very much. We appreciate your cooperation in this matter. I just want to add one more thing to the explanation of the system that uh, Bhagwat Prabhu just explained. And that is that everyone should just simply understand that Srila Gurudev cannot remain here for a long time. This is the main principle. So we should be very sympathetic to Srila Gurudev and not take so much time. And that's why they're, they're having all the devotees conform to the system. Otherwise, Srila Gurudev will have to sit here. You can calculate as Radha Maharaj did the other day. If there's 250 people and each person takes one minute even, then that's 250 minutes, more than four hours. So Shiva Gurudev has arrived now. Yes. Yeah, a couple of years ago, Shiva Gurudev didn't even get time to speak because all the devotees took so long and they were bringing their, their mobile phones and cell phones and like this. So also today, we're going to be singing the Arctic song that has been composed by Sri Padmadas Maharaj for Srila Gurudev himself. And the, the Arctic song is here on these papers. So we're going to be passing these out to all the devotees. And uh, also we'll keep some of them just over here. The devotees can come and take them. All right, well, ladies, unfortunately, I'm on this side for you guys. So if I have to tap you to leave, that means leave, so I don't have to be more aggressive. I don't like doing that. But you know, don't ask, you know, should I get married, marry my son, and stuff that take a long, long time. Please just thank you. Thank you.
Men, come up the center. Also on your right. Please do not come in from the south. Everyone, get online. Composed by Shikhat Madhav Maharaj, the papers that we have handed out to all of you, you can take them out and sing along. Jaya.
गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय फलाय कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय भक्ताय नारायण नमस्कृत नर शैव नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास कथो जैन टुडे माई व्यास That is my duty to worship Guru Dev, whole Guru Parampara, Krishna Tattva, Shrimati Radhika Tattva, Mahaprabhu Tattva, Guru Gadadha Tattva, Nityananda Prabhu, Baladev Prabhu and others. So I did, and there Sat Panchakam were Vasit, Devi. I have seen the best Puja of my Guru Dev, I used to organize that. Also I have seen the best Puja of Param Puja Kar. माधव भक्ति गई माधव महा गोस्वामी महाराज भक्ति प्रमोद पुरी महाराज दे ऑल यूज टू वर्षिक देर गुरु दे एंड देन गुरु परंपरा हो एंड देन राधा कृष्ण जुगल गौर नित्यानंद प्रभु गौर गदाधर नौ इन पंच तत्व व्यास पंचक आचार्य पंचक उपास्य पंचक कृष्ण पंचक देर आर सेवन पंचक A sannyasi in our line, on their birthday, they should worship like this. Also, I have heard from my Guru Dev and Singh that when, after worshiping their Guru Parampara and all others, When disciples worship him, then he told with very dignity, very humility, that I am not independently qualified to take your offering. What is in me? What is I am doing? What is I am preaching? Only Guru Dev and Parampara. So look to them. If any praise comes to me, all are hearing my kata. Really, this is not mine. It is of my Guru Dev, Parma Guru Dev, Guru Parampara. रूपग स्वामी महाप्रभु एंड कृष्ण कृष्ण 
केस कम उपदेश टू उद्धव उद्धव संदेश इन श्रीमद भागवतम सो वनली आई एम रिपीटिंग दीज वर्ड लाइक ए फैर हम नट इफ आई इज नॉट फिशिंग देयर वर्ड नो विन वन हैव वर्सिप मी एंड नो वन हैव सो ऑल वर्सिप एंड एवरीथिंग गोज टू बाई गुरुदेव नोट थ्री टाइम सो दिस अभिमान How to go to that com? That I am a very deep achar. This should not come. This should not touch me. Not as meant to be my heart. And I also tell you, the sannyasi who are teaching on behalf of me, they should not have any thought to go. What you are doing? Only by Guru and Guru Param Parai you are doing. So today I am offering my all the things that you are getting to me in my lot lot of gifts of my Guru Dev, and he should give to Guru Param Parai and to Radha Krishna Gaur Radha Rai. Gaur Pramanande Hare Krishna. वेदांत सूत्र श्रीदेव हैज कोटेड वन सूत्र आनंदमय अभ्यासा दट इज मीनिंग दो हुई हुई आनंदमय फुल ऑफ He is an bodyguard of his or our Anand. He is worshiping him, chanting him, remembering him, abhasa, and all kinds of bhakti we are giving to him, meaning is this. But we know that Sankaracharya. रामानु मध्व विष्णु स्वामी निम्बादित ऑल हाई रिटर्न फास्ट ऑफ ग्रंथ सूत्र कमेंट करी इन दियर वाट ओपिनियन वॉल शंकराचार्य ऑन दी सूत्र आनंद वास आनंदम अयम ब्रह्म नौ आनंद आनंदम ब्रह्म लाइक दी सो मेनी उपदेश उपनिषद ब्रह्म आनंद ब्रह्म रसस्वरूप Brahma, all these things, but also in Upanishad it has been written Ananda by and all of us. But Shankara Chand, the avatar in incarnation of Shankar, Bhakt Shankar, Sadarshi. By the order of his master, who was preaching, Sarvam Khalu Idam Brahma, all are Brahma. Satta Mati, you are same. Pradyanam Brahma, Jnani Brahma. So many things, and. He did a commentary of Ananda Mayu Abhyasar. That uh, really that they will eat another swath. Uh, means he was what? Did some mistake? Wrong. 
कि बस हम एक दो रहे तो गुरु he thinks that that the guru but he is telling that he is ignorant and if he doing puja after that this puja is not last puja understand what i told what i told They are not working any. Okay. Okay. So the Guru Dev is explaining that Shankara Sarja, who is the incarnation of Lord Shiva, who appeared in this world and he preached the Mayavad philosophy. Uh, his commentary on Vedanta Sutra of Srila Vyasadeva, uh, he was explaining the conception of Brahma, that the absolute truth is the supreme Brahma. And Gurudev says in the commentary that Shankaracharya made on the verse in Vedanta Sutra, Ananda Mayo Abhyasat, there he made some criticism of Srila Vyasadeva. And he told that Srila Vyasadeva, who is actually his own guru, because Sankaracharya is worshipping Vyasadeva as his guru, but yet he is, has the uh, audacity to say that his guru has made some mistake. In other words, calling his guru ignorant. So, anyone Worshipping his Guru Dev, he should not be like Sankarachari. Not that. I know my Guru Dev is not known. He is ignorant. And this will be what? Mahaparad. So this should be always careful. I have heard from my Guru Dev this thing. And it is written in Brahma Sutta already. So, we should try to follow his verse that it is telling from his Guru Dev and Guru Parampara. Do you want to speak something? If you want, you, you should speak something. Emperor Yan is here. He has come. He has come. Eleven thirty-five. On Marta. Om Agyana Timiran Jasya. Jnananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Jena Sasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishthaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swamiti Mahamane Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharane Nirvishesha Sanyavadi Bhastacca Deshatarane Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Radhikaiyai Priyatmane Shri Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Narayaniti Namane Shri Krishna Vela Patane Sudaksham Audhaurya Madhurya Gunaishtu Yuktam Varam Varenyam Purusham Mahantam Narayanam Tam Shirshanamami Vidanginam Bhakta Shiromanim Cha Shri Krishna Padabja Dritaik Hridi 
ಚೈತನ್ಯಲೀಲಾಮೃತಸಾರಸಾರಂ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಸಂಸತಂ ಪ್ರಪದ್ಯೇಕಲ್ಪಸ್ವರೂಪ್ಯಾಶ್ಚಿತೃದೇವಿತೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭೋ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧಾರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಡ್ ಡೇ ದ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಅಪ್ಯೂರೆನ್ಸ್ ಡೇ ಅವಿಯರ್ ಭಾವ್ ಮಹಾ ಮಹೋತ್ಸವ ಸ್ಥಿತಿ of our beloved Gurudev, Om Vishnu Pad, Ashto Tarakata Shri Shila, Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. I am first of all offering my Dandavat Pranams at the lotus feet of my beloved Diksha Gurudev, Nithyalila Pravishta Om Vishnu Pad Ashto Tarakata Shri Shila, Bhakti Rakshak Shri Dhar Goswami, Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Shila Prabhupada. And secondly, to my Siksha Guru Dev, Nithyalila Pravishta Om Vishnu Bhad Asto Tarasata Shri Shimad, Bhakti Rakshak Shri Dhar Goswami Maharaj, and to the lotus feet of Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. To all of my Rupa Nuga, Guru Varga, and to all of the Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis, friends and guests in this assembly. the appearance day of shri guru in this material world is the most blessed event for all of the suffering humanity and not just for the suffering humanity for all living beings within this material world shri guru descends into this world huh to carry out the order of the supreme personality of godhead shri krishna who is the father of all living beings every living being is an eternal servant of the supreme absolute truth bhagavan shri krishna and in this material world every living being has forgotten that relationship with their eternal master their eternal father their eternal friend and they are suffering in this material world out of ignorance out of avidya they do not have knowledge of their relationship with the supreme lord and therefore they go on struggling against this material existence birth after birth lifetime after lifetime suffering the pains of repeated birth, death, disease, and old age. So every living being is suffering in this way, without any hope, without any possibility of being released from this horrible condition of life. So, because Shri Krishna is supremely merciful parama karunya he has a eternal love for every one of his parts and parcels his amshas within this world therefore he makes the arrangement by his cause this mercy that he sends his divine representative to this world to perform the function of releasing the conditioned souls from this bondage of freeing them from the prison house of this material world and introducing them to their eternal relationship with the supreme lord that function that shri guru performs is actually 
the function of Krishna himself. Therefore, in Srimad Bhagavatam, 11th canto, in the Uddhava Gita, where Bhagavan Sri Krishna is instructing Uddhava, he tells him, Acharya Maam Vijaniyan, Navamanye Takarihishit, Namartya Buddhya Suyeta, Sarvadeva Mayo Guru. He tells to Uddhava, you should know that I am the Acharya. It is I who am coming in this world to perform this function of giving divine knowledge of myself to the conditioned souls. You should see Sri Acharya, Dev, Sri Guru, you should see him in this way as a non-different manifestation of my very self. Hmm? That he is directly a Prakash, a manifestation of myself in this world for the purpose of giving mercy to all the Jiva souls. Therefore, understanding him as such, you must never have any slight disrespect for him. You should never think of him with Marti Buddhi, thinking that he is a ordinary mortal being of this world who has been forced to take birth in this world and to suffer just like all the others. And you should never have uh, suya. You should never have envy toward him. What should be your attitude? You should understand. Sarvadeva my old guru. All the potencies of all the devas within this universe, they reside within the lotus feet of Sri Guru. Huh? And therefore, Sri Guru has the divine power of the Supreme Personality of Godhead Himself. He can sanction the delivery of any jiva soul, and He can personally introduce any jiva to the Supreme Lord Sri Krishna. So, to understand Guru Tattva, the truth of Guru, is to understand this, that He is none different than Krishna. When a disciple comes to the lotus feet of Guru and accepts Sri Guru as his shelter and surrenders, as Sri Krishna tells in Bhagavad Gita, Sattvidhi Pranipatena Pari Prashnena Sevaya Upadekshan Kite Gyanam Gyanina Sattvadarshina Such Sattvadarshi who sees the absolute truth, he can impart that knowledge to a Jiva soul. But the Jiva soul has to come before Guru and first of all perform Pranipat. Surrender. Now I am realizing that I am helpless in this world. And I fully accept that you are completely capable of delivering me, of giving me, placing me at the lotus feet of Krishna. Therefore I surrender at your lotus feet and I pray to you, please impart this divine knowledge. Pariprashna means, with inquiring mood, I come before Guru, and I take the words emanating from his lotus mouth as my very life and soul, and I fully surrender to his instruction. Whatever he imparts to me, I accept that on my head, and with the best of my ability, I try to carry that out in my life and I perform seva to his lotus feet. What is the meaning of seva? It means service. But what is the meaning of that? It means what he wants, that is what I do. Not what I want to do, not what I select to do, but what he desires. What is his mano bishtam? What is his deep desire within his heart? I must detect that. If I am real disciple, and I must serve that desire of Sri Guru. Once Srila Gurudev was with us in uh, Bali, Indonesia, on his Yash Puja day, and he asked us the question, what are the three types of disciples? And after some 
attempts on our part, Srila Gurudev, he himself gave the answer. And he told that a third class disciple is someone who hears an instruction from Guru. He hears it with his ears, but he doesn't follow it. He doesn't regard that instruction. He is third class disciple. Second class disciple is a disciple who hears the instruction of Guru and understands what Guru desires and he follows that instruction, he carries that out. First class disciple is a disciple who understands even without Guru giving instruction, simply by understanding the heart of Guru and his internal desire, his monobhishtha, the disciple automatically goes and he carries this out on behalf of Guru. So Srila Gurudev told us that this is our duty. This is our duty to Sri Guru, it is our duty to Sri Krishna, and it is also the duty to our own soul. Because Sri Guru, if we surrender at his lotus feet, then he will impart this divine knowledge within our hearts. Yasya prasada the Bhagavat prasado. Yasya prasada na katikutoki. By his prasad, by receiving his mercy, then we receive the mercy of Krishna. And without receiving the mercy of Guru, if we displease Guru, then we do not receive his mercy. And then na katikutoki. It is not possible to detect which direction we will be going in our lives. No final destination can be attained without the mercy of Sri Guru. So on this blessed appearance day of my beloved Sikh Sri Guru Dev, Om Vishnu Pad, Sri Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, I am remembering the mercy that he has distributed, that I have seen in my own life, how he has lifted me out of the darkness of ignorance, complete attachment to sense gratification, completely wallowing in the, in the stool of the material world. And mercifully he dragged me by my sika and brought me again to the lotus feet of my Guru Maharaj. And I have seen how he has done this for so many. So many thousands of Vaishnavas. How he has carried out the order of Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada. How he has saved the spiritual lives of so many of his disciples, so many of his followers. And what, what is he giving? How is he working 24 hours daily to give this divine knowledge that has not been available to the whole world, east or west. He is working 24 hours daily to give these books of our Guru Varga, without which we will not be able to attain this ultimate goal of life that He is giving to us, this divine service to the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani in Praja Vrindavan Dham, under the guidance of Sri Rupa Manjari. This final goal Srila Gurudev is making available to us, this inconceivable treasure. So we only have to cooperate with him. He wants that we will simply follow the principles given by our Guru Varga, Upadeshamrita, that we follow carefully in our lives that we carry out our bhajan life according to those directions, that we try to come to the platform of following Mana Siksha of Raghunath Swami in our life, and finally coming to the stage of Ruchi, Asakti, Bhav and Prem. Srila Gurudev is coming to deliver that great treasure to us. Simply we should cooperate with him, and in this way we will receive his causeless mercy. Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Bhansha Bhakti Guru Vashtra Krita Sindhu Guru Vashtra Krita Sindhu Guru Vashtra Krita Sindhu Guru Vashtra Krita Samodar Maharaj, you should speak on Guru Tattva. Hey. Hmm. 
गुरुवे गौर छंदाय राधिकाय सदाले कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय सदभक्त नमो नम गुरु ठाकुर इज अ वेरी डीप टॉपिक बिकॉज द डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड श्रीमन पाग थाम से वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड गुरु ठाकुर एंड बिकम अच्छा देन मोक्ष द्वार में भाग थम एंड द गेट्स ऑफ द स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड आर वाइड ओपन कॉलिंग जब द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड उदय प्रेज न वाई फाई अंति अपचितम खवये से वैश्य ब्राह्मण यु सम किदरम रिलीज मरंत अंतस बाहे अनुगतम शुभम विनाशम अचा देशे से पुकापसा स्वागतम विनक्तम उदय प्रेज ऑल सुप्रीम लॉर्ड इवन इफ आई हैड लाइफ टाइम एज लॉन्ग एज लॉर्ड ब्रह्मा आई कुड नॉट पॉप प्रॉपर्ली स्पीक माय इंडेबनेस टू यू बिकॉज यू हैव फॉर अपीयर इन टू फॉर्म्स to take the condition soul back to the spiritual world one is internal one is external the internal form the internal guru is chaitanya guru or paramatma and the external form of that paramatma is shri guru parapadma the guru that is known as ashray bhagwan he is the form of the supreme lord which gives shelter to the devotees therefore he is called ashray bhagwan also he is the abode of the supreme lord let us krishna rest He rests in the heart of such a devotee. Therefore, he is known as Ashray Bhagwan. Therefore, Guru Tattva means we are talking about the appearance of the spiritual master. Therefore, the spiritual master appears in his world, but he does not appear in the heart of the disciple. What is the benefit? Therefore, real Vyasa Puja, real appearance, that means the spiritual master should appear in my heart. That is called the real Vyasa Puja. Therefore, that life in which the spiritual master gives shelter to the disciple, that life is successful life. Therefore, we are not like the Mayavadis who follow the Sankhacharya. They worship Guru only till they become one with Guru. They become liberated. Then they have no need of the spiritual master. But our worship of the Guru is not like that. Our relationship with the spiritual master is an eternal relationship. Therefore, unlike the Mayavadis who want to become Guru, we simply want to become servants of the Guru. Sakudan Biloje Janme Janme Prabhu Se Jibhi Gyan Vidhe Prakasi Se Dev we pray, birth after birth, He is my Lord. Until the disciple is not delivered from this world, the spiritual master appears again and again, until the disciple goes back to Godhead. But even when he takes birth in the spiritual world, even there the spiritual master is still the Lord. He is still the shelter of the disciple. Therefore, Nidaya Charana Satya Ahara sevaka nitra nitai sada pada korava. Therefore, in this world, spiritual master is my only goal. He is my only shelter. He is my only protector, my only guardian. That is an eternal relationship. Therefore, the appearance of the Guru means that on this day, but Sri Bhakti Sadan Saraswati Thakur said, Vyasa Puja is not just one day a year. It's not one day a year we stick on the tilak, Jai Guru Dev, Sumari, Jai Jai Ho. Every, he said every day should be Vyasa Puja. Every second, every moment, this is the real Vyasa Puja. That second where I forget the feet of Guru Pada Padma, that is that second where I lose everything. This living entity here is very weak, therefore he has no power to worship Radha Govinda. Therefore Radha Govinda come in the form of the spiritual master, and the disciple takes shelter of the Guru. By taking shelter of the Guru, he achieves, the disciple achieves power or strength to worship Krishna. Therefore, Guru is considered to be non-different than Balaram. Balaram Ji, he is a kind of Guru Tattva. He is the non-differentiated Guru. Therefore, my Guru, his Guru, your Guru, everyone's Guru manifests from that Balaram Prabhu. Therefore, by taking shelter of Balaram, we get strength. But by leaving the field of Balaram or Guru, then we become weak and become easily captured by Maya. Therefore, I am praying this day, what benediction we should ask for Guru? Therefore, benediction is nothing. What do we want? We want only service. So I remember one disciple came to see Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. He was 20 years in the movement. He came to his Guru Dev and said, Guru Dev, I have not achieved anything in 20 years. Then Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, he closed his eyes and said, Very good, keep going. <laughs> Why have we come to the Guru? We have come here for service. And what benediction, what... What is the benediction of the Guru? Then he will give us more service. Well, of course, I am not feeling like this, but I hope one day by following the Asa Puja by the mercy of Guru Dev, we can develop that mood of causeless devotional service to Guru Dev and our Parampara Bhaya Sastra Dev. 
great tomato about Guru Tattva and disciples of Tattva. Secondly, after my pranam thousands of times, at the lotus feet of my Sri Guru Parampara, and I after my pranam to all the assembled Vaishnavas and uh, Vaishnavis. So we have heard from Kujapad uh, Bhaktiantra Padmanabh Maharaj. How Srila Gurudev described uh, three levels of disciples, the first, second and third class disciples. So I am in the third class of disciples. And uh, so really I am not qualified to speak in the association and presence of so many second and first class disciples. So I beg your forgiveness. What little I have heard from Srila Gurudev, I will try to repeat for my own purification. Today is Vyasa Puja, the worship of Vyasa Dev. Who is Vyasa Dev? Vyasa Dev is the incarnation of Sri Bhagavan, who manifests within this world, Srimad Bhagavatam. He had written so many Shastras, but he was not satisfied. His heart was not satisfied. Then his Guru Dev came, Sri Narada and instructed him and gave him a blessing. After that, by the blessing of his Guru Pada Padma, Srila Vyasadev, he went into France. Bhakti Yoga in Amanati, Samya Pani Hitay Malay, Apasya Purusha Purnam, Nirachataya Pasrayam. And in his trance, he saw all oh, the sweet pastimes of Sri Krishna going on in the spiritual world. And on another side he saw the material world. And in the material world he saw countless millions of jivas moving eternally in the chain of birth and death and suffering. And seeing the spiritual world on one side and all the jivas suffering on the other, he realized how all these jivas will come out from the darkness of ignorance and be transferred to an eternal position in the beautiful, eternal, loving pastimes of Sri Krishna. And what did he see? What was the method that he discovered to transfer them from one place to another? That is Bhagavad Kata, the Kata of Srimad Bhagavatam, of the pastimes of Sri Krishna. And he gave Bhagavatam and instructed his uh, disciple Shukadev Goswami and in this way the Bhagavatam is coming to us today. So on the Puja we worship that personality who sits upon the seat of Srila Vyasadev called the Vyasa Asan and delivers to us the very same message that Srila Vyasadev realized by the mercy of Narada. He has seen all the sweet pastimes of Sri Krishna. And he also sees us. Thousands of jivas suffering in the material world. And he gives the exact same message of the pastimes of Krishna of Srimad Bhagavatam. And thereby delivers those living entities 
from the material world and offers them at the lotus feet of Radha and Krishna. So, Vyasa Puja Day is a day in which the representative of Vyasa Day, not only the day, so one might think Vyasa Puja is a day when Guru accepts the worship of the disciple, no. Vyasa Puja is the day where Sri Guru, the direct representative of Vyasa Day, teaches his disciples how to worship his entire Brahmapara, all the way up to Vyasa Deva, Narad and Brahma and to Sri Krishna. Because by serving and honoring and respect, giving respect to the representative of Vyasa Dev, only then will his message, the Sitar of Srimad Bhagavatam and the pastimes of Krishna enter into the heart and cleanse away all anarchists. Srinda Kamswakatara Krishna, Punya Shravana Ketaya, Hidyanta Sovya Bhadrani, Vitu Noti, Surit Satam. So, this is some conception of the meaning of Vyasa Puja. So, our Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sadhari Thakur, on his 50th birthday, he gave a very wonderful lecture. He said, I am sitting on this big seat and I can hear what some are whispering in their hearts. They are saying, look at that, a veritable beast from the zoo. What a brute. Hmm? How can someone be so proud as to take a very high seat when many distinguished and respectable persons are seated upon the ground? Hmm? And how can he bear to listen to his own name uh, with so many hyperbolic adjectives added to it as well? This is terrible. Can anyone, can such a person ever be reclaimed from such brutishness? Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Sarah Thakur, oh someone, they are, they are thinking in their heart. Hmm? He said, but I also pondered this. And I prayed to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And I said to him, Mahaprabhu, your teaching is, Karnada Pisu Nikena. One should be more humble than a blade of grass. Hmm? In to which Chaitanya Mahaprabhu replied, Yari Deka Tahi Kaha Krishna Upadesh, Amara Ajaya Guru Hana Tare Desh. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Wherever you go, whomever you meet, give them the message of Sri Krishna. In this way, become Guru and deliver all the people of this world. So Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sahari Thakur said, I have received this hmm, from this order from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, but to, to my Guru and from my Guru to me. And therefore, I am uh, performing this service of spreading the message of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Guru is very, so humble to accept the difficulties and all the problems Srila Gurudev in advanced age flying here and there all over the world, undergoing so many difficulties, but not for himself. Hmm? Srila Gurudev is, would be perfectly happy to be in Vrindavan, Sankharinam, and absorbed in Asatalya Lila all the time. What is he doing here, traveling around the world? Hmm? That is the order of his Guru Padapadma, his Guru Padapadma, the order of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, to deliver all the jivas of this world. So, Srila Rabbanath Das Goswami Pahaj, he has glorified his Guru Dev. Nama Shrishtam Manavati Satiputram Atta Sarupam Rupam Tasyagrajamuripuram Mathurim Goshtavatim Radha Kundam Giribaram Aho Radhika Madhavasam Kapso Yasya Pratita Kripaya Sri Gurum Samnato Sri Slurabhana Tassa Swami Pad in his very old age at the end of his life at that time he remembered with gratitude all the things that his Guru Dev said his Guru Dev means Yadunandana Acharya actually Slurabhana Tassa Swami ran away from home at the age of 17 and did not meet with his Guru Dev again. But he understood that by the mercy of his Guru, what did he receive? Nama Shrashtam, the best name, 
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम अमल हरे नाम अमिया विलासा गुरु जैस दिसाइपो दि बेस्ट फ्रेंड द हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र वेर इन ओ द स्वीट पास्टाइम्स ऑफ राधा कृष्ण आर देयर एंड नॉट ओनली दैट राम शस्त्र मनोति सचि पुत्रम by the mercy of guru dev he said i receive the association of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu rat shri mahaprabhu shri chaitanya radha krishna nahi anya radha krishna combined together or i am not only that swarupam swarup the association of shri swarup damodar what does that mean the service of radha and krishna in the gun of lalita sakhi but not only that swarupam sasyagra rupam Sasyagrajam Purupurim. Also, under the guidance of Sri Rupa Goswami, under the guidance of Sri Rupa Manjari, Sri Radha Kundam, the place of Radha Kund, at the foot of Giriraj Govardhan, and the desire in the heart to one day serve the lotus feet of Sri Radha Krishna. It's not in this their pastimes. So, I remember once I was in. Uh, San Diego. Perhaps many of you were there in San Diego, and it was morning lecture, and my name was on the schedule in those days. And I was supposed to give the morning lecture, and I sat down to give the lecture. And before lecture, na ma shastam mana mapi sachi kuchh. And from another room, Sheila Gurudev came running into the room. Hey, stop, go to. Why? Because the last line. ंदोसिंग Then afterwards, Shila Gurudev told me. He said, "Oh, when I was young, once I was giving lecture, Nama Sastam Manav, and my Gurudev, Shila Bhakti Prakash Singh, in the temple. Hey, go on." <laughs> so in this way, I offer my Sada Pushpanjali at the Lord Shri Sastam Shila Gurudev, and pray that He will continue to strengthen His mercy upon me. That one day I will not be a third class disciple, but one day become first class disciple. ओम ज्ञान समदन दस्य ज्ञानंजना सुलाताय चक्षुरं निधम जैन तस्मै श्री गुरुदेव नमः Good day is ordered me to say just a few words. I'm sure although you're enjoying Good day Sarshan everyone's tired so I'll use that excuse to be brief. Uh we've all been suffering in the material world since time and memorial. Um uh, although we're very small insignificant uh no larger than a 1/10000 the size of tip of a hair our egos are so so big we're so important we have so many important things to do we have so many good ideas and we're going around lifetime after lifetime uh facing conflicts within ourselves and with all other living entities how come they don't think I'm so important why don't they follow my good advice why don't they worship me like i know they should worship me and some day after <laughs> one day after many 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 lifetimes we become frustrated uh we become despondent and we think this all ego is not really working very well for me this hope that i can become happy here is not really paying off and we become desperate 
And when we become very desperate, we call out. And we call out to what we know may be God, if he's there. Are you there? I remember doing that the same when I was a young boy. What is this all about? And I was walking down Massachusetts Avenue in Boston in school, saying to God, where are you? Where is the answer? And then somehow or another, someone came up to me and put a Bhagavad Gita as it is in my hand. Practically an hour later. <clears throat> so, when we're lucky, Guru comes to us. We don't come to Guru. We're not doing anything of our own power. We have almost no power. Almost none. Nothing. So small. But when we come close into the association of Sadhguru, when our lives are blessed by his association, our lives are taken from that dark place, that miserable, unhappy place, into a place of joy, into a place of light, into a place of hope and possibility. We hear about the things that we know we're longing for. <clears throat> Some months ago I gave a little talk, and I was talking about the philosophy and this one lady who's a professor at Oxford, after I got done talking, she said, what you said, I've always known, but I've never heard anybody say it. And I said, well, I've just repeated what my Holy Master has, has told me to repeat to people. Although I have no realization of it myself, I'm repeating it. So when we're lucky, when we're fortunate, we come in touch of the association of Sadhguru, and Sadhguru changes our lives. And if we follow his instructions, if we endeavor to serve him, as Damodar Maharaj, Chupad Damodar Maharaj was saying, uh, that story, a very instructive story, I haven't achieved anything in 20 years, I think in my case it's been 30 years, um, so keep going, that's good, just keep on keeping on. And be hopeful, because we have Srila Gurudev. He's been so kind to come to us, to revive our spiritual lives, to inspire us. And on Jyas Puja Day, it's our small chance to offer him our thanks, which we do every day, three times a day, with our mantras, with our seva, with our Vaishnav pujas worshipping the deity, trying to follow all of his instructions. But today is a special day, because it's a day that reminds us that he's here, that he's in our lives, and that he's given us so much. So, I want to say thank you very much for changing my life, Srila Gurudev, and I hope to keep serving you forever. Hare Krishna. <laughs> They will have chance to speak on Guru Sattva. But you should remember that those who want to start Krishna and Radhika Jugal, they should remember without Guru, he cannot. No snail of bhakti, nothing. So you should remember what he remembered me, Maharaj, that Guru Shevat three times. Those who, without any order, they know the manobhisht of Guru Dev and follow. They are first class. They should try to be that. No use of that Guru Dev to order me for Krishna Bhakti and the automatically knowing and the. And second, for Guru Maharaj tells and then the, the uh, follow. And third, 
even telling not doing not touching he is bok of not save up take stay and then he remains what bok bok means train like standing on one feet and eyes there so not saver but he is bok so we should try to know he manobhist of gurudev he will have a desire to sir oh must you can know you will realize what my gurudev want i'm sorry to okay i have seen my gurudev i have written all these things in his life how he knew and he used to jump without his order to carry his mano bhist how hmm? rupa swami he said that the mano bhist aap itang jin bhutale ketan mahapuru never wrote any book nothing only shit cast and what rupa swami did what chaitanya mahaprabhu wanted he established parkiya mood in this world first time it was do it was written in bhagavat but ramanu sampradaya mathura and others were criticizing people used to criticize but rupa swami established by the shastra everything what he can the mahaprabhu did this was his of his service mahaprabhu so we should try to know the ways of our guru dev and follow and go premaan mahaman